what's up guys it's aloha rises uh check this out first i was trying to craft some um you know mage gear for myself or maybe you know to sell and i ended up getting three out of five which is pretty cool and all of them are all sellable man they're all freaking like three perk misses uh, anyways this happened right after a maintenance just happened uh, and in this video i'm going to be explaining to you guys what this maintenance is and what what it could affect um, first of all, let's read it. Let's read what's uh, what's the updates. Um, it's more towards the seasonal event, if, as you can see. So, Wispy Bloom now drops 14 Wispy Bloom petals instead of seven. Crafting Spring Tide tokens now requires three Wispy Bloom petals instead of five. Wispy Wasps now have 75% chance to drop Wasp Goo, um, up from a 10% chance, which is pretty pretty insane. The Lifo gift sacks um, now gives you 10 springtide tokens. Joyous gift piles now also gives you 10 springtide tokens. And there's no wait now for the for these things in the event as well. Which is good. Um, I think those are good updates. Um, as you can see from the you know the higher chances for the wispy wasp goo drops. Checking out this video right here. Um, I just you know recorded this re just earlier after the, the maintenance. And then I ended up getting three of them actually now. So yeah, three of them do drop Wispy Wasku. And every time I farmed, they they always tend to drop at least two or three. So which the chances are so high now. And look how much I can farm now. Look, instead of with the with the wafer now, you can get at least 28 per uh farming per farm. So you can get 28 wispy bloom petals, which is freaking nuts. So, boom, you see this? Within an hour, I got 130, 130 premium tokens. And wait till you see the regular tokens. Look at this. 605 regular tokens. So with the wafer now, so the normally, you, so the, now you can get 14 without the wafer, but when you add the wafer buff, the food buff, you can get 28 per um, farm. Oh, uh, which is nuts. So yeah, um, this actually, you know, people are thinking, did this crash the market for the patterns in this event? In my opinion, um, you know, obviously the, the patterns will be much more easier to farm because you can farm coins and, you know, those wispy bloom petals way easily because of the, how much you can, you can get from farming. So yeah, the patterns in general would probably, the, the, the prices would probably decrease because there's so much of them, the, the abundance of them. Um, but go ahead and check your market. If you have a, if you have buy order, if there's buy orders out there at already you know, at least 150 gold each to like 200 and something gold per pattern, I think you should sell them. You know, you can farm more later on. Um, but anyways, you know, in my, me as a crafter, getting biz gear is not that easy, even though, you know, with these patterns, you can get unlucky. You can get very unlucky and you also need crafting materials. Crafting materials such as runic leather, asmodium, phoenix weave, these all require, you know, it's a daily crafting thing. There's a there's a limit that you can do to craft them um, per day. So if there's less of those because of supply and demand from crafting, those 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 are probably the ones that those those crafting materials are probably gonna go up and also mods as well. So you gotta think about that as well, you know? Also, guys, comment down below in the comment section. I want to know what you guys are thinking. You know, what are your opinions on this um, this change? You know, will this gear be cheaper because of this? You know, because of the abundance of these patterns? Or, you know, will it mess up the market? Will it not? You know, let me know down below, guys. See you guys on the next video.